Senator Gardner refused to resign by a noon deadline. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey moved forward to legally remove her from office. Caroline Hecker joins us live in Jefferson City after speaking with both the governor and the attorney general. Caroline, what does he have to prove to remove her from office? Well, Paige, the attorney general told us at 12.01 this afternoon, his office filed that quo warranto uh, in court. That was in the 22nd Judicial Circuit in the city of St. Louis, and it's the first legal step in his attempt to remove Kim Gardner from office. And he told us he plans to prove an established pattern of neglect in her office. That includes three main arguments made in today's petition. First, Bailey alleges Gardner has a pattern of failing to prosecute cases. Those are cases she's charged but allowed to sit and resulted in dismissals or failure to prosecute. Second, he says she has failed to inform victims of criminal case procedures, something she has a constitutional, statutory, and moral obligation to do. He says Gardner is failing to charge new cases police refer to her. All three allegations, Bailey says, will prove she's neglected her role as circuit attorney. Prosecutors are charged with holding wrongdoers accountable under the criminal code. Prosecutors who failed to do that aren't doing their job. Thankfully, this rarely happens in the history of the state of Missouri. But at the end of the day, I'm obligated under the statute to hold Kim Gardner responsible for her failure to discharge her legal, moral and ethical duties. The attorney general says his office is working as quickly as possible, but adds that a judge will set the pace of this legal battle. It will start with a hearing in St. Louis in the near future and go from there. Governor Mike Parson told us he believes Gardner should resign and says the state can't afford to have St. Louis fail to attract new visitors. You cannot let convicts out all the time. You can't do people that are bad people and let them out on the streets all the time and expect them to do anything differently when there is no accountability for them or the courts or the prosecutors. Again, we all take, we, we all take a part of this because it's our state. We want that region. We want people to go there and feel safe. Now, Attorney General Bailey did tell us that this move is very rare, but it has happened before in the state of Missouri. Now, earlier today in Kim Gardner's press conference, she doubled down on a timeline in which she is criticizing a judge and the crash victim from this past weekend, Daniel Riley's case, saying her office argued to revoke his bond multiple times over the course of the last year to no avail. However, Bailey saying court documents and transcripts don't exactly line up with that and tell a different story. We'll dive into that coming up at five. We're live in Jefferson City. Caroline Hecker, News 4. Carol